because you care for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled. That's why my heart is filled with praise. That's why my heart is filled with praise. That's why my heart is filled with praise. That's why my heart is I know one thing the word of God says. The Bible made us understand that the dead cannot praise God. So your attitude this morning should be that of praise. As a matter of fact, till the end of the year. So in everything you do, know this well. A, fa- a, great, a grateful heart is what the Lord deserves. Praise. Praise is what he eats. Nothing else matters. Praise, worship Him in all you do. That's why my heart is filled. In that same attitude, what are you going to tell the Lord this morning? We're thanking Him first. You could do it. In, you could do it in song, but open your mouth to tell the Lord how good He has been to you. Tell Him. Oh, I am. I am thanking Him already. That's why I started with a song. So you can open your mouth to tell the Lord of his goodness, what he has done from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. We are about going into November. So in everything you do, let your heart be filled with thanksgiving. I'm telling you, if there's nothing we do today, I believe one thing, a faithful heart, a grateful heart is what the Lord deserves. That's what he needs. Somebody that will tell him, Lord, I know you have kept me for a time as this. Forget about what you're going through. Your bills don't matter. Your kids are still alive. Your family is still intact. You still have a job. Many do not have jobs to go to. So what, what is it? Don't let anything hold you back this morning. Thank him for his goodness, for his kind, for his merciful, for his love. You know, he, one thing, I, I, you know, when I come up here, I look at people and they can't open their mouths. You are not alive by your own power. You are not alive by your own might. So when I'm telling you to thank God, I don't think I should, rem- I should remind anybody to thank God. No! It is something you do willingly. You wake up in the morning. You know, you raise your arms. You raise your feet. You can talk. You are not blind. Forget what the doctor has told you. You know, that amen will go if you develop a head of thanksgiving. He doesn't need anything. I'm telling you, all he needs is for somebody to tell him of his goodness. When you have a, a, you know, a heart that praises God, things happen in the supernatural. I'm telling you, all I'm just trying to, here to tell you is to thank God for his goodness. Let your heart be constantly filled with praise. The dead cannot praise God. So thank him, thank him, thank him for his goodness, for his love. Thank him. Thank him for his goodness. In that same attitude, tell the Lord that, Lord, if there be any iniquity in me, search me, know me, and forgive me all my sin. You know, if you say you have no iniquity, then you are a liar. So tell the Lord, Lord, I come this morning with a humble heart. What are you telling the Lord? Lord, I've sinned and I've, come, I've fallen short. I do not deserve these things. So when you come before the Lord and you can't pray, you are telling the Lord, you know what? I don't need you. So what are you telling the Lord? Lord, forgive me of all my iniquities. Forgive me of my sin. Omission. Commission. You know, this is not a time to be quiet. Because it says, if you deny me, I will also deny you. 
A proud heart don't pray. If you're very proud, you can't pray. Because you're telling the Lord he hasn't done anything for you. He hasn't kept you. Oh, I'm alive by my own power. I sleep and I wake up. That's a lie. That's a fallacy. God is not interested in that. Tell him to forgive you of all your unrighteousness. Because, uh, uh, you know, our righteousness is like a filthy rags. We do not deserve his love, but he chose to love us regardless of our dirt. So tell him, forgive me of all my iniquity. Tell the Lord to have mercy on you. Because he said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy upon. And I'll be compassionate on whom I'll be compassionate upon. So if you can't pray, God, if you can't pray to the Lord, you are proud. And what does God do? He receives the proud. He will not, he cannot visit you. Tell the Lord to be merciful unto you. Tell him, be merciful unto me. Lord, I know I don't deserve your mercy, but you chose to be merciful regardless. We have a few minutes to pray. And the kids are not even exempted from this. Because you should teach them from when they you know, when they are babies to learn how to pray. Because when they need something from their parents, they open their mouth. They communicate. So if you don't teach them from this age, trust me, this will be just like, what are they doing? I don't understand. They just come and they ramble every Sunday. And they will not get the concept of this. Prayer is communing with God. You're telling him, Lord, I don't deserve your grace, but you chose to have it upon me anyway. I don't deserve your mercy, but you chose to be merciful unto me. So if you're not doing any of these things, then you're proud. I can't see us praying. I'm telling you, I wish I had more time. Uh, we, we, should, we, should, we, we should have something regarding prayer. Let people know. Men ought to pray and not to faint. So if you're not praying, you're fainting. It's not enough to come to church and dance and, you know, no, 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 no. God wants those that worship him in spirit and in truth. Part of that is you praying. And if you're not opening your mouth, then you're, you're proud. Very proud, as a matter of fact. Prayer is communing. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We exalt you. We start in this service in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. And I pray one thing today. For everyone that is under the sound of my voice, I pray nobody goes go back home the same in the mighty name of Jesus let our lives be transformed. The Bible made us understand that where two or more are gathered, he is there. So without a shadow, with an altar of doubt, I know the Lord is here in his goodness. And I pray we shall all testify. Come this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Let Jesus be glorified as we want to sing praise and worship and lives be transformed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we leave those hands to God as we worship Him in the beauty of His holiness? Let's worship Him. Let's lay those hands unto Him. Let's thank Him for Him alone is worthy of our praise. Let's thank Him for Him alone is worthy to be honored. Let's thank Him for Him alone is worthy to be honored. That our worship be acceptable this morning in the name of Jesus. There is a language only you can speak, there is a chorus the heaven sings. We are privileged. To join them sing this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a language, there is a language. The heaven sings. There is a chorus. There is a chorus, the angels sound, and we are 
our privilege this morning, our privilege to join them. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Lord. And that is our reasonable worship. Leave me at the altar with my father. Leave me at the altar. Oh, leave me at the altar with my father. Leave me at the altar with my father. Oh, leave me at the altar with my father. Leave me at the altar. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. 
soldiers we are moving higher every day let's leave those ends we are climbing up every day we are moving from glory to glory from strength to strength from might to might in the name of Jesus let's wave those ends to him for we that wait on him he renew our strength father we thank you in the name of Jesus oh Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I cast my crowns before the highest royalty. I am undone before the glorious majesty. Cast my crowns before the highest royalty. I am undone before the glorious majesty. I cast my crowns before I cast my crowns before the highest royalty.
This is the only man in this church this morning. I can say that authoritatively. Because the Bible made us understand that let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord! We can 
now got six. Thank you, man. I can hear you from back there. The Bible made us understand that David was a man after God's heart. Not because of anything. He worshipped and praised God crazily. You know, there is a cra there are some crazy praise. You know, you can pray and miss. Sorry, Pastor, I'm here to give announcements, which I'll do. But you can never praise God or worship God and miss. I'm telling you, if your heart is in it, you can never miss it. Let's develop a heart of a worshiper. Happy Sunday, everyone. Weekly services. Sunday school is from 10 to 11. We had an awesome time this morning. Sunday worship is from 11 to 1 p.m. And Wednesday Bible study is at 7.30 p.m. It's still on Zoom. Our monthly services. Second Friday of the month is a prayer meeting at 7.30 p.m. Every last Sunday of the month is a Holy Communion service. Every last Friday is a night vigil. One Saturday of the month is a women's meeting. First Sunday of the month is a Thanksgiving Sunday. And we, we have a baby dedication. Uh, we have a baby, uh, God. Yes, name it today, and it's at 5 p.m. I believe the address is 3575 Fort Mead Road. It's, it's not far from here. So please re be endeavored to just show your love to the family of the Alabis as they'll be naming their son, you know. And as we do so, the Lord will bless us richly. Offering time. Blessing time. Uh, cash shop is FC Ministry at Yahoo.com. Our PayPal is FC Ministry at Yahoo.com. Zell is 240-593-2570. I always make some emphasis. During this time of the pandemic, a lot of things has, has happened, and a lot is still happening. So, you know, if you don't feel confident to share whatever you're going through, with a church member, you can call the pastor on 240-593-2570. It is not until when somebody dies, then you start giving GoFundMe. You know, be your brother's keeper or your sister's keeper. And it's not a time when somebody tells you something to start gossiping about them. God is not interested in gossips. I don't know, that's not part of my announcement. I promise you, you know, Talk to the pastor. Talk to someone. Trust me, a depressed person is still smiling. They don't go about frowning their face. They still smile. But because they don't know who to confide in, they hoard it until they, they hang themselves. Let's rise up as we give our offering. Yeah. <laughs>
let's thank faithful God, righteous God, let's thank him, holy God, that always with us, that always for us, let's lift our voice in praise to the King. Let's say, Daddy, we just thank you. Daddy, we worship you, we give you praise. Thank Holy Spirit. Somebody thank him for a great plan that he has for your life. Thank him for what he's doing in your life in the name of Jesus. Worship him. Give him praise. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are kind. You are wonderful, God. Father, we praise you for who you are. We thank you for your great love for us. We thank you for your spirit in our life. Thank him. Just lift your voice and bless him. Thank him that he has given you the privilege to know him. It's a privilege of knowing him. Lift your voice. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Jesus. Oh, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank him, worship him, give praise to him, adore him. What a mighty God that we serve. What a good God. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want you to pray this scripture for yourself. Psalm 115, verse 14. I want you to pray for yourself. Pray this scripture for yourself. Psalm 115, verse 14. The verse says, May the Lord cause you to flourish, both you and your children. I want to begin to list, lift your voice. Say, Father, cause me to flourish, both me and my children. Can you lift your voice and begin to pray that prayer for yourself? Let God cause you to flourish, both you and your children. Father, cause your church to flourish, in the name of Jesus, cause every members to flourish. In the name of Jesus, cause us to flourish spiritually, physically. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray, lift your voice to God. My Father, that it cost me to flourish, both me and my children. Cause your church to flourish. As a lot to cause you to flourish, both you and your children. In the name of Jesus, let Jehovah God cause you to flourish. In the name of Jesus, flourish spiritually, For, flourish financially. In the name of Jesus, in working with you, in knowing you, cause me to flourish. Open your heart to pray, both me and my children. In the name of Jesus, ripatoli masutoli masike abaha, liprendo tukatele masutoli mukote abaha. Li prendo tike telemo sonto yabo. Li prende tike lemo shante yabo. Ripate lema sike telemo kapa yabo. In the name of Jesus. Father, cause me and my children to flourish. In the name of Jesus, let us flourish. In your world, let us flourish. In your will, somebody pray it for yourself. You flourish in this season. You flourish at all time. In the name of Jesus, open your heart and pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. In verse 15 of that Psalm 115, it says, may, the, may you be blessed by the Lord and the maker of heaven and earth. May you be what? May you may, may you be blessed of the Lord, the makers of heaven and earth. I want you to pray for yourself. Say, Father, let me be blessed of you. Hallelujah. What God did for Abraham, he said, let Abraham be blessed and let him that cause him be cursed. And when the blessing of the Lord is upon you, you begin to do good. In even in the midst of the famine, where no one can have a way out, uh, Isaac have a way out because he was blessed of the Lord. He said, may you be blessed of the Lord. Now turn it to prayer. Say, Father, let me be blessed by you in this season in my life, in this hour. Open your heart and begin to pray to yourself name of Jesus. Father, let us be blessed. In the name of Jesus. He said, may you be blessed by the Lord. 
the makers of heaven and earth. May my life be blessed of you, God. In that may the church for Christ evangelical ministry solution center be blessed of you. May the work of my hand be blessed of you. May everyone be blessed of you, God. In the name of Jesus, pray, pray as the Lord. May you be blessed of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, at all time. May your going out, your coming in be blessed of the Lord. May you be blessed in this city. May you be blessed in this country. In the name of Jesus, may your life be blessed of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. I pray, let your life be blessed of the Lord. Say that amen very louder. In the name of your life, be blessed of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, may you experience the blessing of Jehovah God in every area of your life. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. You can have your seat quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for the privilege of coming to know him. You know, I think it's a great privilege when you come to God. And I want you to appreciate it at all time. Because some people don't have this privilege that you have have. Many of us, God has given us the privilege. We'll take it granted. We are too familiar with God. Although we are too religious. We put, but it's a privilege of you knowing God. Hallelujah. For you to have a seat in God's presence today, there's a privilege for that. You don't know that? For you to just have that seat, to be able to sit there where you are, it's a great privilege. Some people don't know it at all. Some people don't have the understanding. Some people know, don't have that, that privilege of just coming to God's presence. That's why we don't really appreciate the privilege that has given to us. That's why we do anything we want to because we don't count it as a privilege. We just think it's just a normal thing. But it's a privilege. Go to Japan, go to India, go to those country, Buddhist country, go to China. So many people don't privilege of knowing Jesus. Their eyes, even though they hear about him, but their eyes is not open to him. But here you are, a privilege was given to you. Just to know him. Just to know the way. If Jesus Christ has declared himself to be, hallelujah, to be the way. So a privilege was given to you. Take the privilege so serious. Hallelujah. Don't let us take it. Anytime you come before God, anytime you have a seat in his presence, just take that father, thank you for this privilege that you have given to me. Praise the Lord. I don't know whether you believe that is a privilege, but I want you to know it's a privilege that you receive from the Lord. Hallelujah. Quickly, let us go into the word of God. I just want us to touch, if we can title this word today, showing the, the showing forth the praise of God. What did I say? Showing forth the praise of of God, showing forth the praise of God. Listen, God has called every one of us to show forth of his praise. God has called every one of us. The main purpose we are created is to go on earth. Go and show forth my praise. Praise the Lord. We all know that before we came on this earth, you are in before God, in God's mind. Hallelujah. Before we came on this earth, we are in God's mind. We are in the plan of God's agenda. That's why you find yourself on earth. You believe that, oh, you are somewhere which you are everyone that we are created. We are in God's heart. We are in God's mind. We are, we are because, how did I know that? Because God told Jeremiah, before your mother and your father, I knew you. So, I mean, before the assistance of Jeremiah, God knew him. So, everyone that we are here today, we are in God's heart. We are all in God's agenda. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you angel before? Before God sent you on earth? No. But you are in God's heart. You are in God's agenda. So, you are made in God's, you are created in, you have the mind. In the heart of God, there's a place for you. And also in the agenda upon the face of the earth. You are part of it. That's why you find yourself on earth. Now, as you find yourself on earth, he wants you to do one thing. He wants the praise of him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are created for the praise of God. Praise the Lord. 
whether you don't every one of us that on, on the face of earth we are created for the praise of God we are created for him and for him alone not even not for yourself I, I didn't know that you are not created for yourself can you someone tell me how you I want you to know that you are not created for your own self because many of us we have put ourselves in the position where we put God everything is about me is what that please you is what you want is what you want to do so you are not created for that for yourself that will show you that you are not created for yourself praise the lord that with what shows us that you are not created for yourself and life and time you know we show in your life that you are not created for yourself if you have um if you have 2000 and i don't know what car on the car you are driving but when you come to um 2015 2020 your car is now what no it's not new anymore your beautiful house your best house in the city will come to irrelevant at one point in time how many of you know that so life moves life involves so you you never know you are not created for yourself if all what we focus, even though your age will tell, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your age will tell that you are not created for yourself. Where you cannot run, if you are running three miles now, when it comes later on, even though to carry a step, you say, the in. that's what you come out of your mouth. Hallelujah. So that means you have nothing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You have nothing. Life is nothing. But life can come out of something for you if your focus is to him that created you. Hallelujah. Life can be better. Life can be sweeter when our life back to the one, the purpose that we are created for. What I say? Your life can be better. Your life can be sweeter when we are back to where the purpose we are created for. And that's what is that purpose. To show forth the praise of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Life will get better. Life will be more meaningful to us. And yes, life will have more impact to us when we are returned to the purpose that we are created. We are created for the praise of God. Your job, everything that we do, we are created. Everything about your life. You know, sometimes we can argue it. People can say it. Why has to be everything spiritual, 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 spiritual? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know so we can say that what everything has to be about spiritual, spiritual. Why can't we just lay back? Why can't we just enjoy ourselves? Why can't we just have fun? Everything is about spiritual, spiritual, spiritual. Listen, it's all about it. Praise the Lord. It is all what? Everything is about, even you yourself that are sitting there, you are a spirit. You don't know, you don't know you are a spirit being. I've been saying it, you are a spirit being. You are just, what you are doing, you are just living inside the body. The body is not you, but the spirit itself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when we focus on the body too much, it profit you nothing. Hello. If I focus on my body enough, it profit me nada. You gain nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I focus on my body enough, it, get, it gives you nothing. The dead cannot come and take care of, take care of his children. If somebody pass on, oh, I'm the, my mother is taking care of me or my father. What? That's the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though when you give birth to children, you don't know what is happening to them. Hello? Do you know what the dead person in the world is happening to children? Their children. Somebody say, my mother don't sleep in heaven. The woman is sleeping in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the praise of him you are created for. You need to show forth the praise of him. To show forth the, your life. Our life needs to show forth the praise of God. Hallelujah. Quickly open our Bible to Isaiah chapter 43, verse 21. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 21. And I want you to listen and I want you to read it. Praise the Lord. 
Look at it. He said, the, say, these people are, have I formed for who? Who is talking there? Who these people, which you and I, I formed for myself. These people, this is what God is talking. God is the one talking now. These people that that these people have I formed for myself. You know the system of the world want to think us, make us think there is no God. Say God, you involve evolution. Things happen. There is no God, no way. Why those people are saying to it because they don't want to submit to the world's will. That's the main thing. Just have fun, enjoy yourself. No, you are not accountable to everything. You know, many people are. Like, people in this world are afraid of giving account. Praise the Lord. I just want to be a free man. I just want to, I, I just want to have fun by myself. Listen, no. Somebody created you. That means you are accountable to the person. So the system of the world just want to account to God. And there's no doubt about it. We're going to account to him. Praise the Lord. We're going to account to God. There's no doubt about it. You have to. Because you are not created by yourself. And when you look at your system, you know somebody created you. Even though sometimes you say there's no God, the evolution, that's stupid. It, it, it's not really makes sense. You know, when you look how God, how unique you are, how the body was functioned, how your body operate, you know that some, there must be something, a designer, that designed your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How you think, things you do, you know there must be something there's somebody that, you know, you know, that designed you, that made you, that created you, the way you walk, things you do, with the body of your system. When, you be, when the, um, the doctors or people that study the part of the body begin to analyze how body works, you know that's, oh, this is not ordinary. Somebody, was, somebody created me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How your brain functions. You think just things just come together, come together, come together, come together, and do now, you, here you are. No. He said, these people have I form for myself. What they say you should do now? They shall show forth my praise. Praise the Lord. So you know why you are created now? You know why you are created children? Do you know why you are created now? You are not created for yourself alone. You are created to show forth of the praise because somebody formed you, somebody created you. So, in it, God wants you to have a say, but you are say to Him, Praise the Lord. God don't see, God don't just want to us live a robot life, even though He formed you, He don't want us to live a robotic life like stand up, stand up. Truly, that's what He wants us to do. But also give us a choice of choosing. Praise the Lord. He give us our art to, to do things, to, to say yes to him and to say no to him. But saying no is not going to do us good. The yes part is going to do you good because he formed you. Hallelujah. Yeah. You no, know, I know some parents know the right you have on your children. The parent exercises the right upon your children. Why, why are you exercising the right on your children? Why? Why? Huh? Yeah, to do them the right way because you be, come on. Give back to you. Praise the Lord. That's why you exercise the right upon your children. So stand up. If the children say no, no, you, you, you are doing that to me. Because you believe, ah, I, I, I gave back to you. You are exercising your right. I mean, being a father or a mother to that children. The same thing, God Almighty, exercising the right to us that listen, I formed you. Why I formed you is for my praise alone, and that's what it is. And in that praise that he told you to show forth, to show forth the praise, is for your benefit. Oh, I realize that everything that God is telling us, 
for us to do. It's just for our good. It probably don't sound. It probably sound that like God want me to have fun. God don't want me to enjoy myself. God don't want me to do what I love to do. But at the end, all those things, he has seen and heard of us that he will not going to lead us in a good place in life. Hallelujah. That he will not, that thing is not going to lead you to a place that will not give you joy. That thing just happened, I was, uh, I was looking at one documentary at what happened in, uh, I think in the 60s in America where this guy manipulates people and turn their brain to follow him to do evil. So some ladies followed this very young man. I think Morgan something like that. I forgot the name of that very heartless man. They went over to kill people. They go to someone's house and kill them. And he manipulated those. So when in their court, when they are doing the judgment for them, even the lady is still boast of his sin, of her sin. She's still boasting of her sin. I slaughtered. But after many years now, they show her again. Being remorse. Say, I regret what I did. He said, that time when I'm doing this, and I begin to live. If you have listened to what God is telling in the beginning, she will not find herself. So all what God is telling us, oh, don't do this, don't do that. It probably sounds so good now. It probably sounds so sweet now. But at the end, it's going to be bitter. And I begin to look, oh, maybe if you have listened to what God, to show forth of God's praise, in the beginning of our life, She'll find herself in a place of joy. She's old now. She look at her life. She looked at her life had been wasted. Praise the Lord. But at that moment, she was enjoying it. At that moment, she was she loved it to show forth of God's praise. We have made to show forth of God's praise. Are you thinking about it? Is that what you are aiming to do? Listen, think about it. Run after it. Let it be what you want to do. Hallelujah. I know some, some step to do probably take you some time. Probably take you process. But that must be in your aim. Every day of your life must be the aim of I want to show forth of my praise of my God. That's what you be. Our mindset every day when you wake up, what I want to do is to show forth of the praise of God. What I'm created for and that's what will be your aim. You know sometimes many of us we are not aiming for it. That's why we see the city. Many people are not aiming for it. That's not the aim. The church don't have problem. It's the problem of a man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If everyone is revived in their heart, if everyone's focus of aim is the praise of aim, hallelujah. hallelujah. We will not be where we are today. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You will not be forced to come to church no matter what. Why, why somebody has to force to come to church? That, that would be something, you know, I'm just saying sincere truth to us. It will sound sound if that would be the praise of God you want to give. That, why somebody has to tell you to give praise? I know some, some people will tell you, don't tell me how to serve my God. But let me tell you, I'm telling you, you are not serving in the right way. Hallelujah. You know, many of us, you know, we have we know how to just say that thing. It's me and my God. Listen, you know it's you and your God. When God says go, I don't know you, you walk out of iniquity. Hallelujah. All what we do is to show forth of God's praise. I pray that your life will begin to show forth of his praise. Amen. Say that amen very well. Amen. He said, this one, you that he has formed, I formed you to show forth of my praise. And when you are showing the forth of God's praise, there's a reward for it. Why God make heaven a place so good that so everything that we cherish on this earth, it be the lesser things in heaven. Hallelujah. How many of you love gold to use gold? You probably don't like it to put on your neck, but you like it to have it, whether you like it, maybe it's one of the better things. And, th and those things, the Bible says, the floor of heaven is what? Why is it that? It's telling you what you cherish. It's nothing here. Hallelujah. What you cherish so much where people are, you are killing people for it, is nothing. Hallelujah. What we cherish on this earth is telling you that, listen, if you can show forth of my praise, I have a better place for you. 
when God began to describe heaven, he said, it's uncomparable. It's uncomparable. He said, anything that you have thought of, that anything that you have entered the heart of man, hallelujah, is not there in heaven. Because what is in heaven is thing that has not entered the heart of man and what men have never seen before is what God had for you. Hallelujah. I think many of you have, I think a lot of riding a nice car, living in a, a nice house, having good children, do all kind of stuff. And Bible says, yeah, something better with what I'm thinking. So, showing forth of God's praise, there's a reward. It's not just telling you to show forth of his praise. It's telling you to show forth of his praise because he wants to give you a better life. Hallelujah. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9, he told us, but you are a chosen what? A, cho a chosen race. A chosen race. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A people for God owns possession so that you may proclaim the excellence of him who has called you out of darkness into what? Into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. First Peter chapter 2 is verse chapter 2, sir. 2. I want, I want the church to, I want everyone to read it louder. See what God is demanding of you. He said, let's see. But ye are a chosen word, generations. That's why I say, you are called out. Listen, come, come. A chosen one. That means there are many people. For him to call you, 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 you. There are many people that are there, but you have a privilege to have a call among those that are there. A royal word, a royal priest. You that you are a king, you are a priest in his in his kingdom, and you are made unique for him. Hallelujah. A, a what? A a holy nations and what? A peculiar people that you should what? Show forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness into what? Into his marvelous life. So our life was made to do what? To show forth. How are you showing it? Tell me. Huh? No. It's a question of you asking yourself when you hear the word of God. Now everyone, even me that I'm talking to you, I need to go back and see, hey, how am I showing it? To when you don't really think, think, think is not good. Think or to reflect. How, how am I doing it? Am I doing it right? Because when you are not reflecting to you, what you are doing is bad. Hallelujah. It's good for us to sit down to reflect. Am I really adding or am I really making an impact? Hallelujah. Listen, it's time for us to be an adult, not a baby. Praise the Lord. It's time to do what? It's time to be an adult spiritually. An adult to show forth of the priest. What is, listen, let, let me tell you, see that everybody look at me. If you look at your age now, you count your age. Can you ask yourself, what impact have I made in the kingdom? Hello? Just just give me one. Like if you can sit down and look at your age. I'm so, 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 I'm two. I'm one. With your one year old and two years old, and ask yourself, what impact that have I made in the kingdom? Have I show forth praise of God? Have I added anything to the kingdom? Is there any impact that God can say, well done, my daughter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, reflect to it. He wants us to show forth of God's praise. He wants us to show forth of God's praise. And he wants us to make an impact in life. He wants us to do good. And that's what is... And, and see, when God is calling us to do things... He's not calling us for nothing. He's calling us to gain something. To give, to train your children the way of the Lord is telling you, you make your children better. 
To live the life that you want to live, it makes your life, it gives you a good heart. It gives you a good heart. Hallelujah. Let's begin to show forth of God's praise. Let our life begin to show forth of him. You are a royal priesthood. A holy nation. You are a peculiar person. That means you are unique. Hallelujah. You are a unique person. We don't know the value of ourselves. That's why we do anything we do. Oh, hello. Do you know the value of yourself? You don't know how value God has valued you. If you look at a royal person, a holy nation, it's people that are so different. You know why God called you? That means God wants to start a new system. That's why he called you. Listen, I want to start. So you, a, a child of God must do something differently. Because God wants to do a new thing. There's a system, and the system of God is different from the system of the world. So God is calling every one of us, I want to do something new. That's why he makes you... So why are we doing this? Yes, because God must have a new system. God wants us to have a new system. He wants to do anything. So why people are doing this? Oh no, he wants you to have a new system. Jesus called for us to have a new system. I want to create a new people. Out of darkness into the light. The light will shine on you. Can I hear that amen very well? The light of God will shine on you. The light of God will shine upon your children will shine upon your family. The light of God will shine upon you. Listen, when the light shines, people will attract to you. They will come to you. Where there is light, people will come. When there is light, people will come. Hallelujah. Who that don't want to associate with light? Look at it. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 6 is to praise of the glory of his grace which is freely bestowed on us in him. Hallelujah. There's a grace of God upon your life. First Peter, no, Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, 16, say, let your life shine. Look at it, let, say, say it very well. Let your life shine before the pastor. Yes, too, yes. Shine. The light, I, I, I'm a man too. Hallelujah. Let your life shine before your husband, before your co-workers, before everyone. That's why I say, what impact are you making? Hallelujah. As you look at the seat, what impact are you making? As you are sitting down, am I making an impact? Praise the Lord. Am I making an impact? What an impact am I making? In my house, he said, let this light shine. Have you ever have people seen? Look at it, what he say. That they must what? See your bad work. What they want to see? Hello? Do you have any good works? Let's ask ourselves. Did I have one? Because that's what he's talking about. Let this light shine. That men may see. The, oh, that brother. Not in vain glory, but excellence of God's works in your life. That sister, I just admire her. She make an impact in my life. Not after you turn your back. Ah, that sister, oh, she's the worst woman there. Hallelujah. But ah, uh, you don't know. I know we still have a little thing going on, but let that's an impact in our life. I can't be perfect to everybody. Even as a pastor, I know that people say, oh, that pastor is a useless man. Oh, Hallelujah. No, you can't be perfect to everybody. People will still have something about you. Praise the Lord. But in all what you do, but make it good and impart. You can't be good to everybody. You think you are, oh no. Oh, I'm not, I know I'm not good to everybody. Praise the Lord. But what is impart at me? You're still going to find somebody saying things to you about you. He's no good. He's not. Okay. But what in your own heart, make a good impart. Make a good part. Let them see your good works. What is your good work? What are your good works? Are they, you see, let your light shine. Before God. Before God. Yes. Before people that are around you. God oversee it. Now, people that are sitting with you, let this light of you shine. That they may see 
the impact that you are making. Hallelujah. They may see the praise that you are showing forth. Let the life of me shine. When are you going to make the light shine? What I'm saying to you is not new. What has to be new is now where you take a step and begin to do it. Have you ever known here? Many of you have been under the bigger man of God preaching. It's not new. What you are hearing is not new. Praise the Lord. Is it today that you have heard that let your life shine? But what you do, when are you going to let the light begin to shine? That's what it is. Where people begin to see, see you know, the things you talk, things you do, how you relate, things you walk, and say, good. About Even if they are condemning you, but they still find something good in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not is, is, is the worst one there. Is the, ah, I've never seen anything that, the person that bad like that person. So bad. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Make an impact. Show forth the praise of God. Let our life show forth the praise of Him. It says, uh, Colossians, Second Colossians, no, Thessalonica, hallelujah. No, don't let me go there first. We have read, read um, First Peter, Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Hallelujah. It says, so that the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be glorified in you, in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, he's calling us one thing to purity, purity of our heart, purity of our life. He's calling us to service. Praise the Lord. What is he calling you to do? Get out of a warming bench. You have warmed the bench enough. Even the, the bench is hot now. He has calling us to his service. Listen, one thing I want us to know, I end with this. You know, when we get to heaven, there will be a lot of regret. There's going to be a lot. But if I know that's what God has for me, I think I should have put my best, even put my own life to do this. Do you think God is going to make the Bible told us who God is that is a good rewarder. Hello, say rewarder. Okay, so, so God is good in rewarding people. God is good in rewarding people. Do you know that God is good in rewarding people? They will probably don't make you feel like mm, what's the difference between them that you know, me and you and them now there's no thing. We are still the same category. But don't worry. It's just a matter of time. You see that that person is flying more than you. You see that light, that person is shining more than you. It's just a matter of time. Because God said, I'm a God, a rewarder to them that everything of diligently go and put that word, whether you don't understand the rest. Understand that the word diligent with everything. I'm a rewarder. So your children will not fail in life. Your children will not fail in life. You will not cry over your children. You, 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 yes, because God is a rewarder. Listen, you know, sometimes, look at me. When God told us to serve him, do it. When God said love him, do it. I realize that in life, I hear people sometimes, I have the privilege of hearing people all over the world sometimes, you know, people call. But when I begin to look at it, Many of us, we are taking things, life, so lightly like this. Life is bigger than what you see now. And devil is not, in, is playing with people. Hello. I'm telling you the truth. That's why sometimes I look at people, if you know what is life about, you will not do what you are doing behind this. You will take it more other. Because we don't know. So I hear people and I see that. I say, my life is even going through things. Because I cannot go through that thing in my life. What can make you not to go through it? You are not doing it, so there's no doubt you're going to go through it. What am I saying? What will prevent you not to go through it? You are not doing it, so you are open up for it. When you go through, when those people, are, when I hear it, I say, oh my God, these people are going through a lot of things in life. You know, different things. 
sometimes the way my heart dance, ah, this is too much. What's this? The Bible said it's their sin. Have it not been their sin at all? It's probably the trials of their life or devil tormenting them. But how do you prevent those things? It's when you show forth of the praise of God. I see somebody that told me one time, he said, Pastor, he called me. He said, you know, you know what happened to me? He said, I built a house, a nice house. I finished the house. A nice, very house. I finished it. For me to celebrate it, to dedicate it, the house, get born, cash fire. If he told me somebody, people die in it or something, they have to take him to court, all kind of stuff. All day. He went through a lot. He said, I'm facing things in my life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, I know some children there that you have, we are here, they don't understand. So, 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 that we were saying in the Bible study, so how you meet people. If you still Lord, say to these children, Lord, give me papers, grant me my immigrant papers, make a water, you can have that is not my prayer. The Lord said, Me grant the power. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So sometimes it make our prayer sometimes don't make sense to them. That cash to them. But no, but that they never change anything about their life. What the devil say. The probably come the different way. Hallelujah. That don't change anything. That don't so that's also they have to buckle up. Even though they don't it's not in their culture, it's not part of their life. But also there's a way that devil makes them to pass through life. But today, you will show forth God of God's praise. Amen. At the place of work, he wanted to show it. Your financial aspect of life, God wanted to show it. You are created to show forth of God's praise. Hallelujah. When you are living under the Christ's authority, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you, you, your life is bound to show forth of his praise. Huh? When you are living under the authority of him, it's all what you aim for is to show forth of his praise, which it demands of us all time. It's all what you want to do. Even though when you are in church, when you are not in church, what you are thinking about is to show forth of God's praise. You begin to see that your life getting better. All what you aim is to show forth of God's praise to live the life that will please him. You will see your life is going to shine. I I wanted to have this understanding in you that don't let people pull you down because you are created to show forth of God's praise. You are made in the image of Him as you aim for it. That all what you think, all what you aim for, all what you are made for is to show forth of God's praise. I want you to rise upon your feet. God created you to show forth of His praise. You are made in the image of Him in your character, in your life. In everything, he wants us to show forth of his praise. I pray your life will begin to show forth of God's praise. Say that, Amen. Your life will begin to show forth of God's praise in your health, in your life, in your finances, your children, your family, in all things that you will do. You will begin to show forth of God's praise. No more dinner of God's blessing. No more dinner of God's glory. Everything that is weighing you down, everything that is tiring your life, that Lord will break that yoke in the name of Jesus. That Lord will break that yoke in the name of Jesus. Your life will begin to shine. I say your life will begin to shine. In this church, you will begin to shine. In this church, you will begin to shine. You know what God say? I will make you a pillar in my house. I don't know many of you, you are not aiming for that. Where God will make you a pillar in his own house. Today, the Lord will make you a pillar. You know, many of us, you are not aiming to be a pillar. Do you know what a, a pillar, the function of a pillar? What makes this house to stand is the pillar. And God's telling you that he's going to make you a pillar in my house. Where you begin to show forth of his praise. I said the Lord will make you a pillar. Say that amen. We make your life a pillar. You will shine for of God's praise. Of God's praise. In the name of Jesus. As so of today, your life will begin to shine. Your life will shine. Spiritually, you will shine. Financially, you will shine. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what they have. I, I hear that voice. What they have 
not be of the shaitan in back to you. You shall receive it by in a double portion. What they have taken away from you, Ikababoso Toliba, Ebu will give it to you by. Take it back now. 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 Possess it now. Recover it back. Overtake it back. In the name of Jesus. In this week, you will show forth of his praise. In this week, you will show forth of his praise. Your life will show forth of his praise. Your children will show forth of his praise. In the name of Jesus, no more deny. No more holding back. So shall it be. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Can somebody shout a big hallelujah? Shout it very louder. Shout it, shout it. Ta, ta, ta. Shout it, shout it. Shout it. Shout it! Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we give all the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, I just want you to see that every time what you aim for God, His power is available to help you to do it. What you aim to do for God, the power of God is available to do it. Is it not God that told us he give a seed to sower? So, what we are not doing, you are not aiming for it. Listen, when I wake up this morning, I'm a little sleeper. Sometimes I sleep late. So, I aim the alarm. I put, I set the alarm. Why? I aim to wake up at a certain time. You know, even though they have grumble a little bit, but because I aim to wake up as also, grace was given to me to jump up. To do it. The same thing. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to be doing. And grace of God is available for you to do it. You have heard the word. You have, it's not me. You even know you have heard better than this. But one thing you do. When is the aim? And when is the set of the good? This is what I'm about to begin to do. And you see, when you aim for it, he said, the grace of God is sufficient for me. In what? In my weakness. Hallelujah. In what you are weak not to do, that you cannot do. He said, the grace of God is sufficient. The ability to do it is sufficient for you. The Lord Jehovah God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Just put in mind, our naming, uh, there's a naming, um, naming, what do they call it? Child. Uh, okay. This evening, today, we have a naming ceremony that you have. Uh, and let's just, I think it's five o'clock. Let's just be there and let's celebrate with them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What I say we should do, let's celebrate with them. And uh, and I know the Lord Jehovah God will do great things in our life in Jesus' name. And also, let's just put in mind that our um, Wednesday Bible study, which, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm afraid to say, let's come back to church on that Wednesday because even why, say, ask me why. Because if you are doing it on the internet and you still don't come, maybe, or maybe we will like, to, and I say, oh, let's do it on the, go back to our normal, regular Bible study where we we'll come back. Huh? Huh? That's why I think, okay, maybe we can wait and see that. Or maybe there's still, you know, but don't we start, we have to do what we have to do. Kobe cannot determine how church will operate because it was not there before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is it there before? Do you do you do online church before? We do we come to house of God. That's what was made to come to fellowship, you know. Do you know during this COVID time, do you know what happened to people? Why? What do you know what happened to people? People are depressed. People are using drinking a lot. People are doing drugs. Why are they doing it? Because they have nobody to relate with you. They have no place to fellowship. Every place was closed. Even though it's their bare parlor is their joint, and church is the joint of other people, the place was closed. That the club was closed down. Closed down. The church was so people get into things a lot. Hallelujah. That's why fellowship is very important. Coming together is what is very important. Hallelujah. There's a statistic that people relate. You know, they begin to do at this um, um, 
one, one study of this village where they are together a lot. They, are, they, they, they live long. Immediately, those people say, oh, I moved from, from this city and they begin to die. Even though they are doing all kinds of stuff, but they, because they are related together. So they find that they are living long. They just because they have a place. But each one says, oh, I'm tired of this city, uh, village. They, everyone begins to move and they have no place. Before they know, everybody finish. So there's a fellowship. There's a grace. There's a power in coming together. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Put it as a duty. I want to say. Put it as, I know it's not easy. You, you don't feel like. I know time is too much. You take time. You are tired. But I realize that this thing has to come by force. So what I could say to you. He said the kingdom of God. How do you take it? No, uh, don't worry. I will do it tomorrow. Mm, uh, I will do it. You will never take it. I, I'm going to. I don't worry. Mm, very soon I will change. Mm, you will never change. But. I will change. I'm changing now. You are determined. You see, the grace will be sufficient for you to do it. Why? Because devil don't want to let you go. That's the main purpose. Why we don't know that devil don't want to let you give those things up. He put those things away. But when you begin to determine, making up your mind, God' grace is sufficient for you. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I pray for every members that are not here, that they let your grace be sufficient for them. Every member that are not here. Father, let your grace be sufficient for them. Lord, have mercy upon their life. Give them the understanding of your word. And bless them, satisfy them with the desires of their heart. As you are going, go in the grace of God. And return with a great testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's share the grace together. The grace of Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the spirit for the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, witness and answer follows all the days of our life, and we shall do it as of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Can somebody give God the praise?